Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Our project title is Stock Management System In our project states that to manage the stocks in an organization The main aim of the stock management system for college is to improve the services of faculty It maintains the details about the timetables of each and every class and also updating for the same It also stores the details, personal information, academic information and exam levels of the student the objective of our project is to avoid such clashes that are arise when a staff get absent on a day and reallocate their staff in a timely manner. It's our data flow diagram. First we are going to view the table. At the time of viewing the table we can also be able to update what we are going to do or what we are want to update a subject or update a code in a particular day for a particular hour. And in job management we are going to check if anyone get absent is on a day. If yes, we are going to identify who is the person get absent on a day by make use of their ID and we are going to specify or we are going to identify by make use of ID how many hours that that the absent is going to be taken on a day and which of the hours that he has to be taken. Then by giving the ID we are going to view other free hours or who are them are free for the day at the except the absentees. Then we are going to reallocate the stock in a random manner. If there's no shortage get happens a timetable get run as per the schedule let we see the demo of our project in our project choose insert underscore subject dot gsp at first the run file After I get successfully built that, it will open in, in our browser. It's our insert underscore subject of JSP's home page. In this page, we are going to insert or we are going to do upload a sub new subject and with along with its subject code and stock name and the stock id who handle that subject the need for to do this to allocate the timetable dynamically and also to do stock profile and then academic schedule performance we have to maintain in subject code we have to specify subject code for a particular subject and the corresponding subject name then who is going to be handled the subject then the stops id then press the allocate button these informations are get uploaded in our database then we are going to change this timetable dynamically to change the mm, to change the monday in hour to to vb.net then click new button then choose monday choose hour to then choose that we will not be placed there so click view button after clicking view that information could be updated in the table that we have seen previously just click home page that information could be updated in new stock registration button the news when are the new stuff that are entered in an organization they must register their own profile personal information so these informations are could be maintained until the stock could be retired from the organizations the id must be specified the id must be same at the time of id given at the insert underscore subject dot jsp and their name and their age gender qualification then address then click to insert to insert these details into the database then going to home to view the stock details just click 
just insert the ID of the staff and then view. The whole information could be viewed at the time of after giving the ID of a person. So if anyone wants to update the information about a staff, then click update staff details, then click then choose and just give ID of that up IDs of a given person to be updated. Just click view. The information are displayed. Then what field that you are going to to update that that field must be entered and give the new informations. Just just click all the text field at a time because when you click all the text field that only the text field going to be activated and the contents that present inside the text field could be stored in a database. Then again click view. Then you have to view the updated stock information. Just give the ID of the stock. Then click view button. The updated information could be updated in the database. Then view to us. After information, we are going to allocate a our for a each and individual stock ID by giving their ID. A12 and the stock name is and number of hours that we are going to take on in which of which hours then how many free hours that that he will be free in a day and which uh, what are the hours that he or she should be freed then what subject that you are going to be handled and its subject code and which day in which day this hours is going to be allocated then click view button this information was get updated and then stored into the database then we are going to find absentees of a of a day for a day In this field, we have to give absentees IDs because these IDs could not be present in a database. So we have to find who are going to be absent. So so we assume one to staff one to three is going to be absent for a day. Just click one to three is absent on Monday. Then click view button. It will display how many. How many days or how many hours he could be taken in a day, or how many hours he he has to be taken in for one day? So one to four, one to three is not a is not a valid ID. So we are going to give one to four on one day. In one to four, the a person who has the ID as one to four, he has to be taken on Monday two hours. In which hours is going to be H one and H two. So we have to find who are all the person that are free in the hour H1 and H2 because we have to replace or we have to reallocate the person to hour 1 and hour 2 on Monday. Then we are going to view what who are the persons that are free in hour 1 and hour 2 on Monday. So in this we are going to give the absentees ID and which fund for which day. Then submit. These are the staffs that are. Have that have free hours in Mondays, so we can dynamically or we can randomly choose a person and reallocate for a absentees free, uh, absentees hour that have to be taken in on Monday. So we are going to allocate X for H1 and Y for H2. So we are going to allocate an ID could be absentees ID for Monday. Staff name X for H1. Then Y for H2. Then allocate. This information is going to be allocated to view.